Hey there everybody, Tario here, back again for a uh, video. Uh, today I have three copies of the Wave of Light Structure deck. Uh, I'm going to be doing a sealed only uh, run with uh, three of the decks. Uh, I'm going to start off with three Wave of Light Structure decks here. Uh, then I'm going to, then I also have bought a uh, Dual Overload box. Uh, to try and get some extra deck cards like uh, the Parshath card, the Bloom Diva, whatnot. To try and fill it out a bit more. Uh, the art card is Stardust Dragon, by the way. It looks very nice. Very nice. And, uh, yeah, I figured I would go open the one of the structure decks. Uh, go over the cards and open the packs. Then come back a little later with the finished deck and let you know what I'm going to start off with. So here we go. Okay, let's see, can I open it? Okay. There we go. There we go. So. To start off, we got uh, Eva, or Ava. A nice fairy card. Uh... We got Sacred Arc, Sacred Arch, Arc Knight Parshath, okay. Uh, Power Angel Valkyria, okay. The Sanctum of Parshath, cool. Uh, Rebirth of Parshath. Minerva, Scholar of the Sky. Neo Parshath, the Sky Paladin. Uh, Arc Knight. Parshath, uh, Maltiel, Sage of the Sky, Harvest, Angel of Wisdom, Bountiful Artemis, uh, Layard, or Layard, the Liberator, okay. Uh, guiding Ariadne or something. I'm surprised that there's actually a uh, pendulum card in here. Uh, Archlord Christia. Splendid Venus. Okay. Athena. Cool. Uh, Tethys, Goddess of Light. Cool. Uh, Hecatrice. Uh, Jelen Duo, Nova Summoner, Honest, then we got Herald of Orange Light, Herald of Green Light, and Herald of Purple Light, uh, Guiding Light, uh, then D, D Sprite, uh, then Hanawada, uh, those are all of the monsters. Uh, then we got the Sanctuary in the Sky. Pretty much the card that this deck revolves around. So we want to get this card out on the field as soon as possible, pretty much. Uh, cards from the Sky. Uh, Celestial Transformation. Uh, Valhalla, Hall of the Fallen. And Ties of the Brethren. Uh, then we got Trap Cards. Starting off with Light of Judgment. Uh, then we have Miraculous Descent. Uh, Synthetic Seraphim. Divine Punishment. 
Dark Bribe, you'll, you're going to see a lot of counter traps in this deck, like Dark Bribe here. Uh, Solemn Warning. Ultimate Providence. Drastic Drop Off. Recall. And then we got a uh, Synthetic Seraphim Token. So that's the deck there. Along with the Duel Links card. Okay, then for the little opening of the six packs, uh, again, I'm looking for the Parshath Link Monster, and Bloom, Harmony, the Melodious something. Because if I can get that, and then I want to get some more uh, Melodious Monsters down the line. But uh, let's start with number one. Pack number one. We got Herald of Mirage Lights, Cubic Ascension, Mecha Phantom Beast, Aurora Dawn, okay, Secret Samurai Fuma, and Kingyo Sukui, okay. So who knows, maybe we could use the Herald of Mirage Light. Who knows. Uh, pack number two. Starting off with Witchcrafter Madame uh, Ver. Compulsory Evacuation Device, not bad. Uh, Rose Bell of Revelation. Triple D, Abyss King Gilgamesh. Uh, if you saw my other video with the, of the Double D deck, you uh, this guy is a star of it. Uh, then Magic, uh, then Magic Formula. Okay, not bad, not bad. Uh, then pack number three, almost halfway through. Okay, starting off with Malefic Territory, uh, Giga Plant, Sky Striker Ace Zeke, King Yo Sukui, and Secret Six Samurai Fuma. So not looking good, so good in the first half, but who knows? Maybe the second half will be better. Uh, so going on to pack number four. We got Speedroid Marble Machine, Deck Lockdown, Christian Halkifibrax, one of the cards I was looking for for some of my other decks. I'm really excited to use this card. I'm going to say, and Bloom Harmonist, the Melodious Composer, one of the cards I was looking for for this deck. And then Malefic Paradox Gear. Yeah, I'm going to set some of these bad boys and girls to the side that I'm interested in using. Either using or sleeving up. So these are the ones I'm either going to sleeve up later that I'm excited about or going to use for the deck. There they are there. Just the stars of the uh, show so far. Then going on to pack number five. Starting off with a, another compulsory evacuation device, okay. Then a Cubic ca uh, Causality. Then a Sky Striker Ace Kagari. Okay. Then a Digusto Emerald. Okay. And a Synchro Tr Transcend. Okay. 
Now on to the last pack. Last pack, let's see if we can get that Parshat Link Monster. Starting off with Destiny Hero Celestial. Phantasm Terror Trilogig. Trilogig. Uh, Cyber Emergency. Uh, another Bloom Harmless, the Melodious Composer. And it's not it. The Mel uh, Malefic Paradox Gear. Okay. So we didn't get the Parshath card, but we can always try again later. Uh, so these are the cards that I'm interested in. Uh, this one's not going in there, but uh, these all can probably find, uh, not this one, but still, a Bloom Harmonist and a, a Herald can probably find their way in, uh, along with the two compulsory evacuation devices, and I'll see you all in a minute. And I'm back, same day this time. So, uh, I'm back with the finished product. Uh, it's 44 cards, just because there's so much in there that I wanted to use. But, uh, you know, the more we go through it, the more we'll either take out or put in and just kind of edit the deck. So, uh, here it is. We got Sarn of Three Sacred Arch Air Knight Parshaths. The big guy. Uh, we got three... Power Angel Valkyria, uh, three Minerva, Scholar of the Sky, we got three Neo Parshath, the Sky Paladins, we got two Aaronite Parshaths, uh, we got one Bountiful Artemis, and one Meltiel Sage of the Sky. Uh, originally, I had both of them at two, but I figured one each would be fine for now because I can always search them out with other means. Uh, I got two Layard, the uh, Liberator, to try and bring banished cards back. I got two Guiding Ari Ariadne, uh, mostly to just put one in the Pendulum so I don't have to pay life points or... Uh, Anything to pay life points or discard a card for counter traps while it's in the pendulum zone. I figured that would be useful. Uh, I got one Hecatrice to search out Valhalla. I got three Nova Summoners. Because when it's destroyed by battle, I can, uh, I can either special summon a monster or a fairy monster with 1500 or less attack, or if uh, the Sanctuary in the Sky is on the field. I can special summon one Air Knight Parshath instead. Uh, then I got three Anis for that early on hand trap. Uh, that kind of does it for monsters. Then for spells, we got one Valhalla. Uh, that's what I have the Hecatrice for. Then I got three Sanctuary in the Skies. And three, the Sanctum of Parshath. That way I essentially have six Sanctuary in the Skies. Because when the Sanctum of Parshath is on the field, it essentially counts as the Sanctuary in the Sky. Uh, then I got three Rebirth of Parshaths. Uh, with that we start the traps. Uh, then I got two Divine Punishments. Uh, I got three, Light of Judgment, and from the pulls in the uh, Dual Overload, I put the two compulsory evacuation devices in, because I thought that they would be useful. Uh, so that's really it for the main deck. Then as you know, for the structure deck, there were no extra deck cards, but I pulled three that I thought might be useful. Uh... One Herald of Mirage Lights. Uh, one Bloom Harmonist, the Melodious Composer. Um, I will. I plan on getting 
at least one of the 2015 Megatons, or at least some packs from the 2015 Megatons, so I can get, uh, so I can try to get Mozarta and Chopina, because I think that with Bloom, Harmonist here, then Mozarta and Chopina, it's just a really nice combo to just recycle a bunch of fairy monsters from the graveyard and special summon. Uh, then the last one I have in here, I have one Digusto Emerald. Figured with its, I can't use its second effect since that's non effect monsters, but with its first one, I can shuffle three monsters from my graveyard into the, into the deck, then draw one card. So again, just a way to shuffle monsters from the graveyard back in. Like if I have Honest or a, a Nova Summoner or something in my graveyard, I can shuffle them back in and just then draw a card. So it's just kind of a bit of recycling. Uh, then I haven't put them in yet. But I'm probably going to do something with the three solemn warnings that I have from the uh, structure deck. Probably just putting them in the side. Honestly. But with that, that's the deck. I think it's a pretty good starting point. I'd say it's a very good starting point. And I'll see you all in the next video. Have a nice day.